What is going on everybody? Rush Duel News has dropped people and it is absolutely ridiculous. We're going to start with a card that requires no introduction. That is Dark Hole. We all know what this baby does. It's going to be a legend card requirement is none and its effect is destroy all monsters on the field. Simple, clear cut to the point. If your opponent has a board that you don't like and you want to capitalize, get rid of all their monsters and then go in with some big major attacks people. I can't believe Dark Hole is actually going to be in this format. It was about time. I figured after Heavy Storm we will eventually see Dark Hole. Let's just hope they calm down and not give us Red Geki and Harvey's Feather Duster. I don't think the format is ready for that yet. But the next card we're going to have to go over is Dark Prophet, a level 1 Dark Galaxy effect monster with zero attack and defense. His requirement for his effect is during the turn this card is normal summon. You can activate this by shuffling three Dark Galaxy monsters from your graveyard back into your deck. So you can already see from the requirements alone that this is a Ouija strategy type of card. But this is when things get spicy. The effect is choose one fusion in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Yeah, we have a Galaxy monster that specifies the use of fusion. And no, it's not just adding it to your hand just because the artwork looks pretty. No, it's gonna fuse with Void Velger Pale Rider to make Void Velger Apocalypse. It's the first ever Go Rush fusion monster, or at least the first ever fusion monster that requires Go Rush characters outside of Goha Yuna, who essentially uses a Yuga deck. But this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not even sure. Is this thing even going to be in the anime? That's what I can say about a lot of cards in this set. But it seems like this is the type of card that should be in the anime. Especially if you paid attention to the newest episode where Yuna Goa is actually formed, is actually created some brand new cards so that they could challenge against the King of Terror. So it's chances are she might have had fusion created so they can actually go against them. But let's go over the status of this card. All right, people, 2,500 attack, 2,000 defense. We already know the materials. The requirement is you can activate this by sending one card from your hand to the graveyard. The effect is during this turn, this card gains 1,000 attack and can't be destroyed by card effects. Now, mind you, it can't be destroyed by card effects, not trap card effects. That's usually the only type of card effect you have to worry about during at least your turn. That's because it has this little added bonus. If you activate this effect during the main phase, it was special summon. You can add Dark Hole from your graveyard to your hand. This is a card that specifies use of a legend card, and it's Dark Hole of all things. And it makes sense. A galaxy themed card using a black hole. That makes come that, that totally goes in flavor. This is absolutely ridiculous. So this thing comes out, it'll have 3,500 attack points. Your opponent won't have any monsters in the field to be able to defend against it. It also won't be destroyed by any of the trap cards. That doesn't mean they can't use something like magic cylinders to negate the attack and reflect the damage back at the opponent. But it's pretty much going to have a protection for your entire turn. And it's going to be a massive hitter. Overall, we just have to look at this. It's a fusion galaxy monster that clearly uses a major card used by Suijo. That's absolutely insane. I, I'm I'm starting I'm just thinking this might be if if all the other cards are not gonna be in the anime, this one definitely has to be. This will be such a tease if they're not actually gonna have fusion in the series. This also makes me think, are we gonna get Transamu Rayanak fusion? Because Transamu Rayanak is actually the light attribute counterpart of Pale Rider. So I have so many questions. This just came straight out of left field people. It's you don't understand how insane this is. We have a fusion monster for a Go Rush character. Absolutely insane, people. I'm ex super excited for this. And I'm also a little bit sad because I don't have any pre-orders for this box yet. And this is looking like the most hype set since, like, I can't even remember. I can't remember a set that's more hype than this set so far. This is absolutely incredible, people. But stay tuned next time for more Go Rush news. I just knew I had to make a video of this because we actually got a fusion monster. And and the fusion monster is so amazing and it's it's always making me forget about it. We got Dark Freaking Hole. Dark Hole is coming to Rush Tools and this fusion monster works directly with it. I, I, I can't explain how ridiculously exciting this is. Dark Hole coming to Rush Tools, a fusion monster that actually lets you recover and reuse Dark Hole while protecting yourself when you use it. What more can you ask for, people? This is absolutely insane. Insane. Insane, people. My goodness. Well, that's enough rambling from me. This is only three cards. I don't want this to be a super long video, but let me know what you guys think about these cards, and let me know, do you guys think this is actually be, some, uh, be a monster that's going to be in the anime? Do you think Tristan Ray and Nak is also going to have a fusion? I mean, 
That guy needs something special. Galactic Oblivion was the one that got the personal crit spell, so I'm thinking Pure Simple Rain that deserves the fusion in Udius' deck. Well, until next time, people, like, comment, subscribe, and peace out.